I'm Barbara Mack, and I'm here at Global Derivatives with Marcos Lopez de Prado, and we're going to discuss quantum computing for a few minutes. So Marcos, what is a quantum computer? A quantum computer is a computer that utilizes the basic, the basic laws of quantum physics to solve very complex mathematical problems. When you think about it, nature solves very complex mathematical problems all the time for free. For instance, the trajectory of the, plan of, the or of the planets orbiting around the solar system. This is a very complex problem. Nature solves it all the time. We don't even notice. Mm -hmm. And a quantum computer tries to harvest nature's computational power. How does it do it? A digital computer uses bits. Bits store information. In term, uh, it can store either a zero or a one. A qubit, uh, in contrast, it, what it stores is a linear superposition of these two states. It will store a zero with a certain probability, a one with a one minus p, pr p probability. Why is this important? Because it means that it can store an, exp an exponentially larger amount of information compared to the digital computer. And it can also maintain two states at the same time, which is That's not right. true in the other at world. At the same time. It's a, it's a linear superposition. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. So how does this give you an edge? Well, it gives us, it gives us an edge in, in two ways. Number one, it means that calculations can be done exponentially faster. And time is money. We, we, we want to harvest that power and a calculation that otherwise would take millions of years to solve, it can be solved in a matter of minutes or hours or days, but definitely much faster. Number two, a quantum computer is a non-deterministic probabilistic device. What does it mean? Well, a digital computer is a deterministic device. It always gives you the same answer. Does this make sense in the context of finance where we are all about computing risks, probabilities, random variables, well, it does not really make sense. We should use non-deterministic probabilistic devices like a quantum computer to analyze and model risk. Mm -hmm. So in a non-deterministic situation, of use a non-deterministic computer. That's right. Very nice. That's very elegant. So how about some specific applications in finance? Uh, at least four applications. Number one, uh, digital programming, like computing the multi-horizon portfolio optimization. That's an NP-complete problem, which means that it would take a traditional computer millions of years to solve. A, 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 a quantum computer can solve this problem using this uh, property of exponential speed up and non-deterministic um, uh, non-deterministic probabilistic uh, features. Number two, in clustering problems. Clustering problems are very important in finance. Think, for instance, how fundamental analysts um, classify a stock in terms of sectors, ratings, countries. Well, this classification may, may or may not be that intuitive. When you take a company, it may be part, uh, partly a finance company, partly technology. It's, it's a mix. And how can we use quantum computers to, um, uh, uh, to run clustering algorithms using, um, using this computational power rather than using heuristics. Heuristics are, uh, are imprecise methods to classify um, uh, securities that are used today, but the solution is suboptimal. Number three, we can use uh, quantum computers uh, to simulate very large number of scenarios. Um, this is something that today is uh, computationally very expensive but quantum computers can help us achieve that. The scenarios about what happens if this variable takes this value and, uh, and the number of, com of combinations is so large that it's unfathom unfathomable for a digital computer to solve it. And number four, in option pricing uh, problems. Option main, some of the hardest option pricing problems involve path dependency, and that's very hard for a deterministic computer. For a probability computer, path dependency is a very natural problem. Good, good. So anyone who's interested in Monte Carlo simulation, for example, or optimization Exam should exactly. come right here and have a look. Exactly. Very interesting. So what are the, some of the main players in the quantum computing space these days? Uh, there are two uh, key players. Number one is D-Wave, which is the first producer of a, a commercially viable quantum computer. And they are clearly ahead, uh, many years ahead, uh, compared to other models. Um, and number two is one qubit, which is the developer of uh, quantum software for uh, this sort of quantum computers, which are called quantum annealers.
Good, good. So on the hardware side and the software yeah. side, yep. pro progress is underway. Very good. Just so like IBM and Microsoft. <laughs> exactly, it follows the same trajectory. So in this case then, is the, tr is the technology really ready for prime time or is it still sort of a laboratory quasi-industry initiative at this moment? It's probably not yet ready. Now, of course, if it was ready, I would not tell you. I would just uh, use it and uh, you would notice. Uh, I, I think it will be ready very soon and by the time it's ready, it will be very late for firms to catch up, meaning that by the time quantum computers are deployed in production, alpha will dry up, mm -hmm. and traditional hedge funds will go bust. In particular, high-frequency traders will not see any opportunity left. It will be like flipping a switch. All of the sudden, markets will look completely different. Why? Because many, many opportunities that exist today in the markets are based on inexact calculations, unprecise results. And once we are able to harvest the power of nature to solve very complex mathematical problems, these errors will disappear and hedge funds will lose um, the ability to, to exploit these opportunities. So it will give edge to some and take edge away from others. Yep. So given all that, one quick question then. So how can our viewers become more familiar with the technology? It's very easy. They can join a community that we have launched in this conference. Um, they, can, they can go to www.quantumforquants.org and join that, that uh, community where they will learn about quantum computing, they will be able to ask questions, see practical examples, and get familiar with this technology. That sounds fantastic. Thanks very much. My pleasure.